Okay, in part one, we ran the um, network word count streaming example that's distributed with Spark. In this tutorial, we're going to take that example and we're going to take it a step further where we're going to um, build our own object and we're going to use SBT and then we're going to deploy it to our standalone Spark environment. So this should help us build even more confidence when working with Spark and in particular Scala. So to start things off, I'm going to create some directories that will make things easier for SBT. And then I'll just touch a build file for now and we'll come back to it. So we have all these directories ready to go. Next, I'm going to switch over to Sublime Text. And you can see I have a file open already here. It's the network word count source code. Um, this is the one that we ran before. And you can find that in your Spark distribution under examples, source. You, should, you guys probably already know this already. Scala. Down into streaming. And it's right here. So what I want to do is take this source file. I'm going to copy it because I want to make our own. Just for example purposes here, guys, just so we can um, make sure we can do the plumbing that's necessary for writing our own code. All right, I'm going to take this package off. We don't need that. I'm going to call the app name something that's we can distinguish from the, the default network word count. And then I'm going to comment out streaming examples. Um, the use of this class or this object is not going to be necessary for us. Um, again, we're just trying to make sure we have all the plumbing set up. So then I'm going to save this file. I'm going to um, save this back in our Spark examples directory here. And then I'm going to open up our build SBT file that we touched before. And then let's make let's create a build file for this this project stream example. Let's give it a version. And then let's set the Scala version. Your mileage will vary on this one. You set the appropriate Scala version um, for your system. Then we need to add some library dependencies. because we're using Spark 151, which is still running, by the way, from part one of the tutorial. So I won't have to start that back up when we actually build and deploy this. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You got a comment, and I think everything is looking okay. Let's go up to a terminal and make sure everything is okay. We can just run SBT compile and just see how that's going. Did I save everything? Yep. So what I want to do here is just make sure that, you know, I didn't make any silly errors along the way and we've got the directory set up correctly for SBT. I should have already downloaded all of these, so it should be quick. Looking good. Okay, just want to confirm that Spark's still running. Looks 
looks like it is. So let's package this. I forgot a step. Let's package it first. Let's create a jar file for this so we can deploy it to our standalone cluster. I want to check something here too. Did we change this? Yeah, we did change this to my network word count, so we should be able to see it. All right, so we've got the package ready, which should create this jar file, this streaming example. Okay, we're good, we're ready to deploy. I have this command all teed up and ready to paste in the terminal here. We're gonna call Spark Submit, the name of the class, where we're going to be deploying it to, the jar file, and then as you recall, this object takes two argument, the host name and port. We already verified that Spark's running. Let's take a look. Class not found, network word count. Uh-oh. Well, that's strange. Let's see, steaming example. So I guess in the build SBT file, I forgot an R. Yep, there it is, steaming example. Okay, well, let's make, we can fix that. Got to change the jar file to be steaming example. All right, this is looking better. Okay, and it's complaining about nothing happening on port 999. Netcat must not be running. Let's start it up. Okay, good. It's the, uh, the program stopped complaining and now we can pass it in as we did before. We should have two hellos. Hi, hi. You see it over here then, right, as it streams by. So things are looking good. We're running. We're rolling here. And then as just one final step, let's check out the, the console, Spark console. See what's happening there. All right, we've got our worker, we've got our running application. And then for steaming, streaming, <laughs> steaming, yeah, great. Steaming programs, there's a lot to learn about what happens in the Spark UI here. And we'll go over this in a later tutorial, but for now I'll just give you, um, you know, if you haven't seen this already, come and check this out because this can really help when you're debugging streaming programs or you just want to have a little bit more insight into how it's performing. So that's part two. We've got part one now and part two, and I look forward to you joining me for part three. But for now, we'll sign off, and um, until next time.